Southeast Asia is among the most biodiverse regions on Earth. The region is a global showcase for a marvelous diversity of habitats and ecosystems, each populated by an extraordinary profusion of fascinating, beautiful, and valuable species. But it's also facing some of the most severe threats of destruction anywhere in the world. In order to focus conservation efforts and set priorities, it's vital to identify where the greatest numbers of species occur. The hubs of species richness, called biodiversity hotspots. That's why scientists have been asking, where are Southeast Asia's biodiversity hotspots? For an entire decade, between 2007 and 2016, a coalition of researchers led by Oxford's Wild Crew, the Wildlife Conservation Research Unit, have been using vast arrays of hidden camera traps to reveal the whereabouts of two of the region's most cryptic and stunning predators, the Sunda and the mainland species of clouded leopards. With cameras at nearly 3,000 locations spanning eight countries, this intensive study captured images not only of the clouded leopards, but of an entire suite of terrestrial species, in fact 90 species in mainland Southeast Asia and 58 on the Sunda Islands. The result? An invaluable opportunity to gain insights into the distribution of biodiversity across the region. Wild Cruise researchers analysed more than a million images to model and predict the areas in Southeast Asia with suitable environmental conditions to host the greatest fraction of the sampled biodiversity. In short, they set out to find those crucial hotspots of terrestrial biodiversity. These model dissociations revealed that biodiversity was mostly linked to forested areas and sources of water, and that it also developed along both altitudinal and latitudinal gradients. In parallel analyses, the Wild Crew team produced spatially explicit predictions for where the hotspots of biodiversity are to be found on the mainland, in Borneo, and in Sumatra. These highlighted biodiverse zones in the mountains of southwest China, the Thai Malay Peninsula, the north of Sabah, and the mountainous western region of Sumatra. The next step was to overlap these hotspots with the region's protected areas, with the alarming revelation that proportionally very little of the modelled biodiversity is formally protected. 18.6% on the mainland, 18.2% for Sumatra, and just 9.2% for the island of Borneo. A policy relevant, practical outcome of the Wild Crew study is to highlight the urgency of conserving these zones in order to protect as much as possible of the region's biodiversity. As much of the world strives to conserve 30% of the global land surface by the year 2030, the obvious question facing decision makers is which 30% should be prioritised. This research provides a powerful tool for stakeholders across Southeast Asia to help decide the best places to protect.